Hey there, boys and girls, I hope you're well. Today's lesson of physical activity will be focused on flexibility and strength, but that's for a little bit later. To start off with, I'm gonna play a game, and it's a warm-up game, and it's called Beans. And to play that game, I'm gonna invite my two good friends, Adam and Kip up to join me behind me. Hello. Hello. So, you might have eaten baked beans before, but there are lots of many different types of beans. In this game, we're gonna be acting out those types of beans. In between the acting parts, we're gonna jog on the spot just to warm our bodies up in preparation for today's lesson. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just start to jog. And the first type of bean, you might have grown this in your garden or eaten it before, is a broad bean. A broad bean looks like this. You go, hoo, hoo, and you have gotta walk around like this and do a big turn. Your broad means wide, so that's our broad bean. Great stuff, everybody. Okay, let's jog on the spot again. The second bean is a string bean. A string bean is nice and skinny and tall, so we're gonna put our hands in the air and we're gonna run around like string beans. Go. Change direction and return back where you started. Great jogging on the spot again. Now, this if you like your food hot and spicy, you might have had a chili bean before, but chili also means cold. So when we talk about chili beans, imagine you've got goosebumps and you're really cold and you're trying to keep warm and do a little circle on the spot. Great, warm yourself up. Oh, hope you're feeling a bit warmer now. Well done. And hopefully we are warming up with this warm up. Jogging on the spot again. All right, the next one, I'm sure all you kids like these ones. Jelly beans, have you had a jelly bean before? All right, so jelly beans, we can imagine we're one of those jackhammers and we're going around like crazy going <laughs> and back to the spot, jogging again. All right, hopefully you don't run into these guys in the wild. These are snake beans, all right? So let's slither around like a snake. And back to our spot, running on the spot again. Getting there, guys. All right, this is one of my favorites because I love running. Have you ever heard of a runner bean? Well, if you haven't, you have now. Let's run all over the place. Let's run, get your knees high. Changing direction, great stuff. Running on the spot, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and just slightly jogging again. Bring the tempo down. This one, if you've ever been waiting for someone, and you don't know where they are, this is, where have you been? So you gotta walk around going, where are they? Where have you been? Don't know where you are, where have you been? Great, okay, jog again. And the last one for today is human bean. Cause you know what, we're human beings. You can do whatever you like for human beings. I'm just gonna walk. Kip's doing a dance. Adam looks more like a gorilla than a human being, but he looks I think we're related along the line somewhere. Okay, great. Well done, everybody. Thank you for taking part in our warm-up. That was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Uh, on to our next activity now. For our main part of the lesson now, we're gonna be working on our strength and our flexibility. All we need is a chair like I've got here, one that you can tilt over a little bit and it's not too heavy. So this, to start with, I want you standing in front of your chair, and I want you to very, very slowly, with the lightest possible touch, sit down so you're at the front of your chair and your ankles are under your knees. Now put your hands on your knees and sit up as tall as you've been today. Hold up one hand, that hand would then come across and reach to your opposite hip, or if you've got a handle on your chair, you can put it there. The other hand comes across and we're gonna remain tall, look over that shoulder and twist your trunk and keep turning, staying tall, a bit like one of those towels that you're wringing the water out of the towel. So that's something you can picture while you're doing it. Breathe in nice and slowly till you get to a point where you can't twist anymore. Slowly come back around, shrug your shoulders a couple of times. And we're gonna do that on the other side. So we're gonna raise the opposite hand up it's gonna reach across to your hip or a handle of your chair if you've got one. Reach across the back, sitting up tall, and we're gonna twist our shoulders like we're wringing that towel out. 
getting all the water out until you can't go any further. Slowly come back. Well done, a couple more. Rolls of your shoulders, that should feel really, really nice. Great, and now we're gonna stand up very, very slowly. So we're now gonna move the chair so it's going sideways. I'm gonna take a small step back. I'm gonna have my hands on my hips. I'm now gonna have this leg up on the chair, keeping as straight as I can from my hips to the top of my head. And all I'm gonna do is pivot from there so that my nose, keeping this back straight, goes over my leg. I shouldn't feel pain, but I should feel a nice stretch here. This is your hamstrings, the bottom part of your leg. A couple more breaths, and very slowly we come out of that position, step, and we're gonna do it on the other side. You may notice a difference in your flexibility from one side to another. I wonder how you're going with this. So we're gonna very slowly keep our legs straight, put it on the top of the chair. Remember we're keeping our spine as straight as we can. We're gonna slowly go down. Nice and long, so we want length here and length here. Feeling the stretch on our hamstring. And back up, great. All right, the next part of our routine, we're gonna take a good step back. The further back, the more challenging. We're gonna place our foot on the top of the chair. This time it's gonna be bent. And now we're gonna lunge forward from this front of the hip where you should feel a really nice stretch. Remember to keep our spine nice and long and leaning forward, pushing the back of the heel into the ground. And I go for a few more breaths. Slowly come out of that position and we're gonna swap over. So the other foot is gonna to go to the top of the chair, bend the knee, lunge forward from the front part of the, the hip, pushing the back heel into the ground keeping the spine long. This feels really nice, like I'm lengthening my body out. Okay, and then back. Great stuff, everybody. All right, now we're gonna move on to the other side of the chair. Okay, and we're gonna go, so our feet are under the chair. We're gonna grab the backhand handles of the chair, and as the chair is tilted forward, my bottom is tilted back like I'm actually about to sit down on another chair. I'm gonna hold this for a few moments. I want my arms long, my bottom going back, my knees bent. I'm working the front muscles here. These are called my thighs. And I'm also having a nice stretch through my back here as well. And breathe through it. Even if it's getting a little bit challenging, keep going everyone. I'm sure you're doing a great job at home. and slowly back down. Now we're gonna have one leg underneath the handle. As we tilt forward this time, an other leg comes back. So we're practicing our balancing. So we're gonna really stretch back with that other leg. Now my right leg's back. I'm gonna keep my right hand on the chair. I'm gonna bring my left hand to my hip. So I'm tilting it forward for more of a challenge. If you're wobbling, that's okay. If you're stumbling, that's okay. It's all about having a go. My back heel was stretching back. I'm working really hard on this side to stay balanced. Three more seconds, two, one, and with control, come back down, chair back to the ground. And you guessed it, we're gonna try the other way. So we're gonna tilt slowly, the chair forward, back, heel goes back, we're gonna try and straighten the back leg. This time my left leg's back, so my right hand's gonna go on my right hip. I'm gonna stay here for a count of 10, nine, eight, stay with me guys, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly back. Step behind the chair, feet together, we're gonna to breathe in, and slowly out, one, and do that three times, breathe in, two, and slow, big breath, three. 
and out. Thank you for exploring that and experiencing that with me. I will see you very soon for our challenge I'm gonna leave you with today. Welcome everybody to Teddy Bear Rescue. This is our final game for the day. It's a lot of fun. What you will need um, are six teddy bears or any object you can grab really. Uh, and you, all, you, all else you need is a basket or a bucket or something to throw the teddy bears into. So to play this game successfully, our animals are in trouble and you have to rescue them. And this is how you do it. So we walk up to a line at the start and we need to move different ways our body's different ways to be able to get to the other side where the animals are. So the first way will be to skip. So for example, we skip to the end, we pick up our first animal. You all know what this one is, don't you? This is a panda bear. And we're gonna to come to the other line. I'm gonna go behind it. And I'm going to, from behind, I'm gonna leap. And from there, I've got the right to rescue into our rescue tub, our first animal. I'm now gonna go the second time we do it, we're gonna gallop. So a gallop is a bit like what a horse does. Over the side, I've got a ram, I'm gonna go over, same thing again, from behind the line, we're gonna leap, land, and throw it into the basket. The third time we do it, we're gonna hop over. So we're gonna hop on one leg, all the way over. My favorite Aussie animal, we've got a koala. So we're gonna do the same, run over, jump, land, into our rescue box. Next time you do it, I want you to hop on your other leg. So you know how to do that, don't you? It's so the opposite leg to what you just hopped. And the next movement will be a side shuffle. So we're gonna face sideways, get down low, go across. I'm gonna get my doggy, gotta run. I'm gonna jump and land into the box. And the final time you do it, you're actually gonna side shuffle and face the other direction. But you can do that in your own time. If you forget these ways of moving, you can always pause the video, go back, and that will twig your memory again about what you can do. The other thing you can do when you do this game is come up with your own movements. So there's lots of different ways we can move our body, whether it's a bear crawl, whether it's a kangaroo hop, whatever you come up with, that's quite exciting because you can actually come up with your own version of this game. Have a great time exploring this game. I look forward to seeing you next time. Stay active, everyone.